This is a TLC clinic in Blunston, Florida, and this was the clinic jackpot winner, Kiera and Prada. The video on the right is your morning run where you ran a 17.663. The video on the left is your winning run where you ran a 17.021 and won the jackpot. I really enjoyed having both Prada and Z at the jackpot uh, at the clinic, and I'm going to go ahead and let it run through. Uh, in slow motion now and we're going to critique some things so I'm going to try to get them on the same track here so I'm going to back this run up um, in the afternoon you came in from a holding pin in the morning you came in from the back of the alleyway um, and either one of those were fine your first burrow was really nice so I'm going to let it play again I'm going to put it in slow motion here and pause it as we get closer to the barrel and zoom in on both barrels I like your position coming into the barrel and let this one move up where the other one is. Um, they're almost identical to one another. Um, you ride two hands from the alleyway to your arc, and then as soon as you get to your arc or your rate spot, you go ahead and go to the horn. I like your hand position. It's not too high. I already like that Prada's getting under self. You only have two strides of rate and only two strides around the barrel, so that's really good. One, two, one, two. Um, the afternoon though was a little bit better on your left turns because as you can see here um, you're still having the issue of looking in a little bit I would like you you're halfway across the pin here and you're already um, looking in even though you're riding two hands you can see that Prada is looking at the barrel already halfway across the arena so I really need you to try to focus your eyes and your two hands on riding straighter longer to your spot one or uh, the straighter longer cone that we practiced in the afternoon and that will help a lot because if you'll notice you're already um, having to hold her off a little bit on the uh, barrel on the uh, right, this one, you actually uh, went to the horn sooner than this one, but unfortunately your m muscle memory still is letting you look in too soon. And you can see she's already starting to get her hip out and her shoulder in, and you're still a little ways from the barrel. You're still one, two strides from the barrel, and she's already setting up to turn. So in the afternoon, you were able to sit through the turn because you did ride two hands longer. In the morning, you had to get up and try to get by it not hit it so the straighter longer exercise will be what you're going to want to do two hands and look and ride at least four or five feet to the side of the barrel and four or five feet past the barrel and ride two hands till your leg gets to the barrel instead of going to the horn too soon because for her that's going to be her cue to start rating and turning so we're going to let these two go together um, you know she's a strong mare you're a little girl she kind of bumps you out of the saddle in a couple places but just use that horn as much as you can pull up on that horn as you can see uh, the video on the left your winning run uh, you were able to ride two hands a little bit longer, but you can see the video on the right. She's setting up and turning in um, too soon. So I think it helped you to ride two hands a little bit longer. Um, but then she was really cooking there on that particular run. So this one, she kind of set up and got in a little tighter. And this one, she stays off it a little bit more. So you actually got a little deep on this one. And this one, you, it's almost identical um, as far as what's happening here is she's getting by the barrel a little bit because you're losing a little bit of pocket going in so I want you to practice and compete riding two hands straight or longer because if you keep cutting off your pocket going in she's gonna be forced to take her pocket on the back side so again she doesn't she steps off her turns you're still clocking really well but you're wasting a lot of time um, on the exits with this much room off the exits and the reason you're taking it on the exits is if you don't have pocket going in you're going to be forced to take it on the back side or the exit so her drills need to be the straighter longer drills she kind of got your timing and popped you out of the saddle a little bit but you recovered well and um, the runs are almost identical but I think just making some real minor changes for you are going to make some huge improvements so the drills that I would like you to do on a regular barrel pattern would be to take her at a walk trot lope all the way till her hips at the barrel and ride two hands till her hips at the barrel and then you can even put a cone behind the barrel and stop straight there then just let her walk around the barrel then you can walk trot and canter to your 
four foot pocket, stop when her hip gets to the barrel, and be focused on like a straighter, longer cone there past the barrel. And again, walk around the barrel and lope up here. Stop when her hip gets to the barrel, focus on your straighter, longer cone, and think four feet to the side and four or five feet past. And that way she has her pocket. You might even need to think five feet on her. She's a pretty big mare. But always look and ride four or five feet to the side of the barrel and past it. Try to stay two hands till your leg gets to the barrel. That will help as well. Stay two hands all the way to your legs of the barrel. So that would be what I'd want you to do on the barrels. Now, some drills for her that would be beneficial. Um, you could set up four barrels like so. And you could just randomly ride, sit before the barrel and keep her good form. Let her sit neutral and go a little faster. Sit again, good form. And just do like barrels where you're doing, you know, all lefts, all rights like so. And then go the other way. Or you could... Uh, randomly mix it up and do figure eights um, and just kind of mix things around and just do a couple figure eights and just mix it up and just what you need to do is let a barrel be a part of your training or you could do those spirals that we did earlier and keep good form as she goes down and back out um, any of those exercises will be really good for her and the true turns drill that we did um, I will send a picture to you so you'll know where to set your cones but coming in and that will work on you perfecting yourself um, and making you ride straighter longer to your spots. So the true turns would be a drill for you. Um, you know, all lefts, all rights, or spirals would be a good drill for her. So thank you for coming again to the clinic. You did a really great job. And remember, always ride with heart.